Okay, I don't know how many people out there have these uh, Fat Shark Attitude SD version 1 goggles, but I bought these a couple of years ago, actually when they first came out. Um, I picked them up, and they were great goggles. They worked really, really well um, at the time. The problem I have with it is the video receiver in these goggles is really subpar. It doesn't really work all that great at all. So I am... Um, embarking on a mission to swap it out. Now it's not a swappable unit, it's all soldered onto the circuit board, but I don't use it anyway, and I believe if I screw it up, I can still use the goggles with the video input, which is all I'm really using it for anyway right now. So I figured uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So basically what I've got here is I've opened up the goggles, right here, and I've taken this module out, so this is like the video transmitter module, and it fits in right here, and it's got two cables that plug into it. And I've desoldered it from the circuit board, and basically just removed it. Now, this wasn't the easiest thing to do. Um, what I had to do was to take the plastic covering the pins off, and then heat them up from the back, each one individually and as it got loose pull them out one at a time then I had to break two solder points here that are just on this board for stability and then the module came out now what I'm going to be replacing this with is the next wave 5.8 gigahertz module that is supposed to be a good module um, certainly it's got to be better than certainly it's got to be better than this one uh, and it also has the uh, the Fat Shark bands, the race bands, band A, band B, works with the Boss Cam stuff and all that good goodness. So all we should have to do, technically, is insert this on the board, solder all those little pins, put it back in. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm going to do that, and I'll come right back. Okay. Sorry I didn't get to video all of the soldering of the pins, but my memory card was full. So I soldered the nine pins on the board. And so now the next wave, focus. The next wave module is in installed on the circuit board. Here's the old one um, and the new one. So now, I guess the big question is, is it going to work? And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the data cables or the video cables and then plug in this video cable and then we're going to set that there Insert an antenna. And let's see. I'm going to power up the old tiny whoop right there. I'm going to leave that here. And then we'll look for our Fat Shark compatible battery. And we'll plug this in. And it comes on, that's a good sign. So let's take a look inside and see what we have. And I do have video. How about that? I did not brick my goggles, and let's see. Probably can't see it, but maybe so. You can. So, that's good enough for me at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back together and uh, do some tests. I will say that in order to change the band on this next wave, you've got some 
In order to change the band on the next wave, you've got some little dip switches there, so I'm going to have to cut a hole in the bottom of the goggles here to access that. Um, but that's going to be you know, a small price to pay. If I can get some video use out of the goggles themselves um, with what I have here with a decent receiver, I'm happy. So, and it looks like the antenna jack is also going to fit in the right location. Yeah, fits in the right location. I'm assuming that's standard on all these modules, so they'll they'll go from goggle to goggle. So I'm not surprised that at that. But um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to do uh, to upgrade these module uh, these goggles is deal with the eye cups that come here. These things suck. Um, they seal around your eyes very well, but oh, I got a wire hanging out here. They seal around your eyes very well, but the problem I have with them is they fog up. They seal a little too well, and they end up fogging up, and I can't see. And you have to pull them off your face and shake them around a little bit. And I mean, I'm talking, um, you know, a minute when it's nice and hot outside, they'll fog up. So what I did to try to resolve that is I bought the face shield with the fan in it from the Fat Shark Attitude version 3's and now when you snap it on here it doesn't I mean it fits on but it doesn't actually snap on so it fits perfectly but it falls off so what I ended up doing was just taking some heavy duty double sided sticky tape right there in the middle one little piece stick it to the goggle right there and works like a charm and so basically what you've got at that point is a good foam face shield and you plug your lipo battery in right there and when you push this button fan comes on blows air across the screens right there and takes care of your fogging problem so for all intents and purposes this is a you know this is a, a totally new set of goggles in my opinion if I get the um, what I expect out of this next wave module. Okay, so here's the modified Fat Shark Attitude SD version 1 goggles all finished up. We have the face shield on and it's on pretty darn tight. I've got the next wave 5.8 megahertz video transmitter installed. I had to cut a little hole right here um, to access the band dip switches. Um, and they're easy to access in there. You can see them. I had to cut the whole, you know, maybe a half an inch in diameter so I could get in there easily and see what I was doing. But, you know, not a problem for me. Um, and the top switch here still changes channels within bands. Um, I mean, I don't know. It seems to work great. I did some tests with my tiny whoop, my little blade inductrix FPV system on some of the boss cam channels and it appears to work pretty darn good. I'm um, looking forward to getting it outside and doing some longer range stuff with the small quad and the race quad. Hopefully hopefully I can use these a little bit better to fly my 280 size quads. Um, the range on the original video receiver was not very good. I've got high hopes for this and I'll post a follow up video after I get some flight time. Uh, other than that, I'm excited uh, about my goggles again so I don't have to tie it to a ground station. I can maybe use the uh, goggles solo like they were intended.